welcome back you guys so I was visiting one of our subscribers channels her channel is called in plain sight tarot she is like just too beautiful for the damn channel I told I'm like girl you should be damn modeling somewhere but anyway I was visiting her, visiting her channel and I got the idea of doing a pick a card this is my first time doing pick a card i don't know how this is gonna go i, I set the intentions out there uh each pal has a sex card in there too so we're gonna see how this person is feeling about you sexually all right so you have the tiger's eye this is a uh, um these pick a cards allows for you to exercise your intuition because i'm gonna tell you each crystal that's on top of it and whichever one is calling you that is your pal. So now you get to listen to your intuition, okay? So you have the tiger's eye. Group A is tiger's eye. Group B is amethyst. Okay? Group C is crystal crystal quartz. So tiger's eye, amethyst, crystal quartz. All right, spirit, let's see how this person is feeling about my collective. What are their fears? What are their sexual energy toward this person? So we are going to start with Tiger's Eye. Okay, first, your affirmation for this group, all of you who chose Tiger's Eye, prosperity is drawn to me. Let's fix the lighting. Prosperity is drawn to me. Okay, so that's you guys' affirmation. Ooh, false person. Ooh, child. You know we got to go off in that thing. Look at what they trying to do to you, child. What's really going on? Let's see. We're going to open this thing right on up. Ooh, all that glitters and failure. So for those of you who chose Tiger's Eye, you got with someone who was fake. This person was fake as hell. Because all that glitters talks about the grass not being greener on the other side. You have failure out here, false person, and the six of testicles. I mean, who the hell wants to hold their nuts while somebody smacked them on their ass? I mean, where the hell is... Okay. So, for my freaks out there, I guess. But, baby, I got to go in this. Why is this person <laughs> being fake? What is going on? I get the feeling that this is not... They were... Look at that shit. Somebody put an end to it. You got the empress, the sun, and the death. Somebody put an end to this situation. Because this person was being false. What else is the spirit? Look at that. Somebody walked away with the five of pentacles. So that, ooh, okay. So you have the page of, I'm sorry, king of pentacles, the devil, page of cups, five of pentacles. This person was not only were they toxic, they were being false. This person was being fake, okay? And I feel like because this person was being fake, and what I mean by that is this person was very materialistic. Okay, and they always ran. They were always looking for the the shiny shit because they were materialistic. And so they didn't allow for their love to actually come through. But because this person was materialistic, it caused this person to act in this toxic-ass energy. Okay, coming in, being fake. You me tell you how they was being fake? Because they really had a lot of love for you. But this person didn't act like it. They was coming in this bitch being fake as hell. Okay? Only worrying about all that glitters. And now someone has walked away from this person. This person is in regret. This person views you as they sunshine, baby. That's why this person was being false. Because they really did love you. They had a lot of love for you. This is my group with the tiger's eye. This false person had a lot of love for you but you was dealing with a king of pentacle type of energy it could have been a, a capricorn taurus or virgo or just someone who was all about material things okay not accessing their feelings but now this person's in deep regret because someone cut the situation off 
or this person could have walked away from you and when you when they walked away from you you just put an end to it you put an end to it okay but this is how they view you ultimate happiness and their empress okay and that's why <laughs> baby that's why that ass want to come in and apologize for this toxic behavior so let's clarify a little more Spirit said, understanding that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. This person is hoping that you will allow for them to come back and make it right. Let's see. And with that prosperity is drawn to you, of course it is. You're the empress. She doesn't do much. She does not chase. She sit back and attract. This person could have thought you were going to chase them. Oh, yeah. This is someone who's very prideful, very materialistic. They um, love to be a, the center of attention. And so this person thought that by walking away from you and not showing how they really felt, that you would chase them. But they didn't know they were dealing with somebody that don't chase shit. Things are attracted to her. Spirit said because this person has mind, body, and soul in alignment with those threes up there. And this is someone who's living from their higher self and prosperity is drawn to this person. So this person ain't chasing nothing. Let's see. And so now this person want to come in and apologize. Get off in that full energy and take the leap of faith with you that they should have did in the beginning. This is a shoulda, woulda, coulda type of situation. It's really a, a player got played type of situation. Feeling like a damn fool now. Okay. Spirit could have also, because this person was a king of pentacles, five of pentacles also talks about financial, having financial troubles. So spirit could have hit this person where it hurt for real. But I'm getting the sense that whoever it was that y'all was dealing with, this person was very, very freaky. Because like I said, who the hell want to hold their nuts while somebody smack their ass? I'm just trying to figure it out. It just, I don't know. I guess he holding them so you don't accidentally smack them because that would fucking hurt. I would imagine that that would hurt. But anyway, this person was very, very freaky. But that's all they wanted to do. They wanted to come in for the passion okay hide their true feelings they hid their feelings from you they hid their feelings for you because this was all they was worried about was the pentacle energy stability money shoes clothes the way they looked the way they smell how other people saw them and so the first opportunity that this person got this person left you guys or juggled you guys with something that was fucking glitter they thought it was gold and it was glitter now here's the thing with this y'all know how hard it is when you get some glitter on your face or something you know how hard it is to get that shit off so i feel like this person has gotten themselves in a situation a sticky situation that they can't get rid of right now or it or when they do get this glitter off of them baby they ain't gonna have shit to show for it i'm talking about for real they're not gonna have nothing to show for that situation mm -hmm. let's see what else we got he said, I spend my life making it up to you. I forgot to be your lover. Wow. I told you. Okay, Spirit. And my ears on fire. Let's see what else. What else we got for the uh, tiger's eye? Y'all could have been dealing with somebody who wanted to work all the damn time. All this person was worried about was money. Like, like this song said, I forgot to be your lover. He said he was still out there chasing skirts. I couldn't remember. And y'all stuck, y'all was by this person's side. Because this girl talking, to, this guy's talking about how this girl showed up to court every day. Um, you know what I'm saying? Writing the probation officers. You were very loyal to this person. And all they could think about was all the glittery, shiny shit. They forgot to be your lover. What else? Yeah. I said, listen, man. Y'all came from a pure space. Unconditional love you was giving this person. This is someone who's very caring, loving, giving, very intuitive. Some of y'all knew that this person was out here doing the most. But you still held on. Thinking that this person would realize that you were the one. But they did. They did, but it was too damn late when they realized it. Oh, yeah, they realized you were the one. You were the empress. You were their sunshine, baby. Yeah, they realized that shit. That's why they want to come in and apologize with this page of cups. 
Oh, Spirit say they need their ass whooped. That's what that is. Spirit said this person need their ass whooped. <clears throat> they made a big mistake. That's why Spirit is telling this person with this failure card. I understand a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. This person needs to learn to listen to their intuition. Y'all, intuition is everything. It, it's, it's going to take over as we move forward. In the new age of the Aquarius, we're leaving from 3D to 5D, our intuition. The ego will no longer have a say-so in nothing, okay? And that's what Spirit is telling us. This person's realizing. Because they knew they had this love for you, but they wanted to come in here and act like they didn't. You know what I'm saying? Focus on shit that don't even fucking matter. The things that they ran off here and was focusing on is being drawn to you. The prosperity is being drawn to you. You a money magnet right now, baby. You ain't got to do much. Sit back and attract. <clears throat> what else, spirit? Anything else on this group before we close it out? Anything else on this group before we close it out? Yeah, ooh, child. This person did the most. I'm talking about this person right here did the fucking most. Yeah, spirit said they need their ass beat. Spirit said, you ought to grab them by their damn testicles and beat their ass. What up, Spirit? I'm getting that this person is depressed. Could have been an um, Aries Leo Sagittarius individual. But this is someone who takes action. And this person is definitely... Excuse me, this person is definitely coming towards you with an apology. Okay? All right, Tigers Eye Group, Group A, or however you want to look at it. That's what y'all person did, and that's how they feel about you. Spirit say, Spirit say, grab their balls and whoop their ass. Because that's what they need, the ass whoop. All right, now we're going to go. Let me see, boo boo. Be strong, gotta hold on. Now we are going to the amethyst. If you chose amethyst, this is your pal. Beautiful amethyst. Can you see that? Y'all be commenting on my nails, baby. Y'all like them? A little something, something. All right, so let's get the affirmation for you guys. Ooh, I'm successful. Yeah, baby. Let's see how this person feels, child. What they done done with they crazy ass. Occupation, <clears throat> yeah, with that, I'm successful. I can imagine that. Oh, look at that! This is, I'm getting the energy of I'm in love with you. I don't care who knows, I don't care who sees. Let's just do it out in the open, regard. Let's just show, let's be free to show our love wherever, whenever, to whoever. Because I'm completely content, whole, and happy with you. I feel successful with you by my side. I feel like I'm working with the right person. Okay. Oh, shit. Whose is this, baby? Yeah. Co-create. This, oh, my God. This connection is very, very strong. It's almost like a, it could be a, a twin flame. Okay. It's very, very powerful. It could be a soulmate, too. Okay. But you guys were made for one another, and there's equal amounts of love on both ends. These people are naked, showing their love for all to see. And this person, they feel like one. you guys lift each other up. What one has, the other one doesn't. It's like you exchange gifts with each other. You play off of each other. You guys can you can tell what this person's thinking. You finish each other's sentences. It's, it's really beautiful. It really is beautiful. And I feel like it's something that Spirit has put together. And that's why you guys are able to co-create with the universe and manifest the life that y'all want. Baby, let's see. This person was put in your life for a reason. I said I feel like this is something Spirit put together. Spirit said, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. <clears throat> yeah. This is something that Spirit put together. Okay. Um, we're gonna pull some energy on it, but I just I feel to be uh, like my ears are on fire, which they always are. But I feel like this sense of it's almost like I'm at home 
at last. Like, this is the person that was made for me. I, I don't care if there is a, a hundred other naked men walking by or naked women walking by. I only have eyes for you. I only hold space in my heart for you. Woo, let's pull some energy on it, baby. This person feels very successful with you. You guys could open a business together with this occupation. We're going to pull energy and see. Some of y'all need to show more appreciation for this person. I just heard that. You need to show more appreciation because this person really does love the fuck out of you. I'm talking about for real. Some of y'all be accusing this person of staring at other people or, or uh, talk. This person can't see nobody but you. They can't. I said this was something spirit put together that go to divine masculine. There you go right there with them big ass knees. What else spirit? Say y'all co-create and got the magician with co-create and I'm successful. I feel like this man right here, y'all mate, whoever, whoever this pal is for. Y'all got someone who's powerful as fuck. The emperor likes to take control. They like to provide. This is the top dog, okay? I feel like you and this person will be able to manifest y'all best life. I'm talking about y'all know quite naturally y'all going to have a lot of people that hate on y'all. But there's going to be a lot of love and light that comes from this connection. But somebody needs to give someone a break. Or maybe you're not telling this person or accusing this person to this person's face maybe you're doubting it in your mind like how could this person just be that into me how how could this person love me that much to where they don't see anyone else right beautiful women beautiful women walk by all the time and this person don't even budge so it's like some of you guys don't have enough self-esteem that's what it is because this person is fucking crazy about y'all in a good way they love y'all and they would do anything for you What else? Whoever picked this pal, this is that's what's up. Don't be trying to change it. Nah, nah, hell no. Nah. Don't be saying, oh shit, I should have picked that pal. <laughs> Baby. Okay. What else, spirit? We say things that we don't mean, but that's the way love works out sometimes. He tripping, she tripping, we both be tripping. But when it's on, it's on. Teach us a lesson. Love is still a blessing. When it's all said and done, we're back at square one. And that's the way love works out sometimes. Wow. Yeah, so like I was getting earlier, some of you guys may be accusing this person of stuff that they just are not doing. I think you need to look at yourself. There's something in you that is making you feel like this. Maybe this is your first time having someone to love you so deep and so real. But it's true, man. This is a fucking emperor. This man ain't got time to play no games. Not with their heart. This person does what's right for everybody involved. And they can't see nobody but you. This person is lost in you. Damn. I, I'm getting that this person appreciates the love. They appreciate the little things that you do because they understand. This is someone who's listening to their intuition. They understand that you were put in their life for a reason. Damn. Damn. King of Cups in reverse. Some of y'all holding back from this person. Why? Two of Wands. Ooh, what was that? Six of Wands. Uh, six of Swords in reverse. 
damn it. <laughs> Page of Pentacles is in reverse. Okay. As I look at the bottom of the deck, I see the Ace of Cups. Okay, so let's talk about it for a minute. I feel like you are dealing with someone who's very mature. This person is um, emotionally available, very mature. They have moved away from the chaos and conflict. This person knows who they want in their life. It's like they've made their choice. They manifested this situation. So this could be, I just heard, for some of you guys, this could be what's coming in. And some of y'all, y'all done met this person, but you don't believe it. You don't believe it. You're like, how could this person be so into me? This could be someone, because this, this person is very successful. Whoever this is, they successful as fuck, okay? Um, they could have a really good job. They could... The emperor is a boss, so I'm getting that this person owns, they own shit, okay? They have a lot going for them because this person has co-created with the universe to manifest the things that they want. With this magician, this is someone who's very powerful, okay? And they manifested you or you manifested this to come in your life. But it's like some of you guys are just not believing it. You, some of you guys don't think it's going to be stable. And it's like you need to make a choice, you need to make a choice um, to go with what spirit is brought in for you. Because like I said, some of y'all manifested this person to come around. Make the choice to take that leap of faith. Look towards the future. Take this cup of love. Look towards the future with the three of wands. It's real love that wants to come in. If this is not, if this is not someone that you're with already, this is someone who wants to come in for you. I'm telling you, if you don't take this cup of love, yo, motherfucking ass gonna be sick. You the one that's gonna be in deep regret. I feel like spirit is telling you to go within. I know you've been wounded. This is someone who's been through some shit and they scared to love. That's what this is. They're, they're, they are afraid to allow someone to love them, to touch that spot in their heart because this person's been wounded before. But Spirit is telling you to go within, do the inner work. Work on healing whatever it is that you need to heal so th that you can get this. You deserve this, man. You deserve to be happy with this Ace of Cups, okay? I do. I feel like some shit happened to you in your past that just really got you, like, um, guarded with anything, guarded with everybody, questioning everything, not trusting. This could be you or this could be that person. You know, we're talking about energy here. But there is someone who wants to offer Ace of Cups love. And it's real. It's pure. And this person feels at one with you. Okay? Let it in. Whatever this is that happened in the past, you got to let it go. It's not this person. This person didn't do this to you. Okay, this person wants to bring you new. The Ace of Cups is new, fresh love. And this is a gift straight from the Most High God. Because God feels like you've been through enough and you deserve real love. For whoever that's for. So some communication is going to come in about someone wanting to invest in you. Some of y'all really just might get proposed to. God damn it, look at that. Some of y'all really, this person will want to marry you. This really could be a twin flame. It really could be. But some communication is going to come in. This person is going to tell you how they want to invest in you. How they want to invest in the connection. With this four of wands and this hierophant, some of y'all really may get proposed. Or wherever the connection is, it's going to go above, a, a step above. Okay, so if you guys are just talking, y'all going to make it official. If you guys are already official, they're trying to make you fiancé. If y'all fiancé already, this person trying to wipe you down or make you husband. Wherever you guys are currently, the next step wants to come in. I'm talking about, wow. <sighs> All right. Let's get one just on the go. Uh, see, y'all y'all can't trust. You're going to have to work on this trust, whoever this is for. Because it's absolutely beautiful what wants to come in. But, like I said, someone's been hurt in the past and they're just not allowed. And it could have been this damn emperor that was hurt in the past. Like I said, this could be your energy or the other person. Someone was hurt in the past. And it's like they feel like everyone's trying to get over on them. They feel like everyone's going to try to manipulate them. And it's just not true. It's, just, it's simply not true. This is real love that wants to come in. Pure love from an uncle. It's like... Every time the, the water falls out, the, it, there's more. Look at the damn sea. It's full of it. 
This is unconditional love that this person wants to give. With the Hierophant and the, the marriage card. Oh, yeah. Whoever this is, if you don't take it, oh, my God. You're going to be sick. You're going to be sad. Spirit is trying to give you a blessing. This love is a blessing. It is. Let's see what else. So, like I said, this could be your energy or this could be the emperor that has been through this painful stuff and they're not allowing um they're not allowing for them to heal themselves so that they can move forward into this abundance this is an abundance of love an abundance of it you guys could have started out as friends before because they have this this friend is here for a reason could have started out as friends this could be a friendship but i really feel like what I, like I said, whatever it is, it's about to go a step up. So if y'all just friends, just kicking and hanging out, no. Nah, y'all about to make this shit real. It, it's too much. Ace of Cups, the higher friend, the 401, this person wants to be stable and solid with you. They're looking out to the future and they see you in it. They can't do nothing if you won't let them. What Aretha Franklin say? Ain't no way for me to love you if you won't let me. Damn. Y'all don't mess this up. Whoever this is, do not mess this up. What else, spirit? Look at this shit. Somebody's scared. Somebody is in fear that somebody's going to hurt them. Damn, I hate this. Somebody needs to do some heart chakra healing. They do. but Because this person is scared. They're fearful that someone's going to be lying, uh, cheating, being manipulative, sneaky, trying to get away with stuff. Oh, man, bro. This person is blocking real fucking love. Holding on to resentment blocks the flow of love. It does. Love is an energy. Everything is energy. And if you hold on to certain things, energy is made to flow freely. But when you hold it on to it, you are creating stagnant energy. It can't move. Dang. What else, spirit? And that's the truth. What I just said is the truth. Someone has been hurt bad with this tower, seven of swords. Yes, this person has been hurt. But there is true love that wants to come in. And you guys will be very successful together. You will. This is the top dog. This is either the one that wants to bring the love or this is the one who love is trying to come in for. Okay, and they're not allowing it. Someone's not allowing this love to come in. They need to because they're going to be sick. This could be past energy. You guys could have already tried to offer this emperor this love, and they were too afraid to step into it, tap into their feelings, and so they in regret. But I, I don't feel like, I feel like this is what wants to come in for someone. And I, I feel like it's real. I feel like this person really does love you. They don't see nobody but you, period. What else, spirit? Anything else before we close it out? Okay, so in this person's past, they could have not chosen the right person for them many times. I'm getting that this person has been hurt more than once. And this person doesn't even trust their own decision making. It's like this person has been hurt so many times in their life. They don't trust their own decision making. They don't trust any damn body. This person don't trust nobody. And that's why it's going to be so hard to break through this person. It's like this person with the page of pentacles in reverse. It's like up and upright. This is learning something new, right? This person is, they're stuck. Simply stuck. Thinking that, that they're going to get hurt. Feeling like everything that they've tried up until this point has not worked for them. It has hurt this person. And so it's like they're not willing to try anything new. But all of that energy is going to leave this person right here. Or going to leave you right here, whoever this is. Okay, take it as it resonates. Someone needs to listen to their intuition and accept this. Because it's real. It comes with a very solid commitment with the four ones and the Hierophant. Okay. Whew, child. I could go on and on with that connection, but it's like this person's going to have to try something new. With that page of pentacles, they're going to have to try something new. Spirit already said they could be successful. Okay, so it's either this emperor 
I'm getting that they're going to have to work on it with this occupation. This person's going to have to work on healing themselves. Or they're going to forever be in that five of cups energy. So it could be the emperor who wants to give this love. Or it could be the emperor who is blocking it out because they've been hurt in the past. Okay, so now let's go to the last deck, baby. Here is the clear quartz. Okay, this is the last pal. So if you chose this pal, here you go, boo-boo. Let's see what's going on. Fives. I am free to fully be myself in this moment. I feel like with this fives, some of you guys have went through a transformation. You've went through a change in your life. You've matured and you are just like, fuck hiding who I am. Fuck trying to pretend this is who I am and I'm free to be me. Spirit... Excuse me, spirit made me this way, and so I'm free to be me. And I feel like this is authentic energy. This is when you really attract real shit, when you being real with yourself. Okay. Journey. What did I just say? Somebody been through a transformation. I just said that with them five. Somebody been through a transformation. And now you are just like, he, hey, here's, here is the collective. Okay, this is me. This is who I am take it or leave it because you've been through you've been on this spiritual journey for a while you've been ascending and and growing learning shedding egos and stuff and just like you're stepping out you're being your authentic self i love that energy right there boo holy shit fire the motherfucking emperor look at that shit right there i'm talking about she feeding him grapes they drinking wine. He's, they're just, they're in awe of each other too. So let's open this energy up and see what it's about because this is the Emperor card, okay? And baby, he still got some big ass knees on that card. <laughs> Ooh, the thinker. Mm, this is someone who's thinking about their stability. This is someone who's thinking about their future. With that four, where is that for it? Yeah, 44 right here. This is someone who's definitely... But see, if it was just one four, they would just be thinking about their own stability. This is someone who's thinking about marriage, commitment, buying a house, making investments, okay, with someone, a significant other. This person is thinking about who they want to marry. Okay, baby. Well, like I said, you got the emperor. Somebody has went through a motherfucking change. Say, fuck what everybody else think. I know who I am and I know what I want. Okay, let's see, boo. Yeah, I just, I can't make this stuff up. Let me read what this relationship card says. I am attracted to those who serve my higher good. Like I said, this person has went through a transformation. And they like, you know, I know who I am and I know who, who I want and what I want. Like I said, this person is sitting here thinking about disability, thinking about marriage, a long-term commitment, okay? Who with the emperor, baby? So this could be some this could be someone's divine masculine. Okay, so we're gonna go in and see what we can get off of this. Yeah, this shit's in reverse. It's like I'm not missing out on no opportunities no more. I'm not gonna be sad and depressed about my love life. I'm ready to find my person. Okay, spirit. What else? Said, I'm yours if you want it tonight. Red light special. What else, spirit? Ain't nothing else gonna come out. Y'all see me shuffling the hell. Oh, y'all may can't see that. I'm shuffling the hell out these damn cards. My arm's strong as hell from shuffling these damn cards. And <laughs> don't let what to come out. go this person's looking for a wife the queen of pentacles is a wife king of pentacles is a husband queen of pentacles is a wife like i said this person is looking for their person oh yes baby so somebody's divine masculine has transformed on this spiritual journey and they're saying hey i am free 
to fully be me in this moment. I know who I am and I know what I want and I'm going to get it. This is what I'm looking for. I'm thinking about my stability. I'm thinking about marriage, commitment, buying a house together. That's what's up. Oh, shit. Yeah, I just said that this person's ready to give a love offer that's going to be balanced, where there's going to be reciprocity. Ooh, child. I love it. I love it. So for y'all who picked this last pal, baby, it's the emperor that's ready. Hell, y'all could have been the one in the second pal that's scared to love, and this could have been the emperor that's ready to get a love. Take it as it resonates. The, I can't make it up. Damn. This man is looking for his ultimate happiness. He's looking for his wife. This queen of pinnacle energy. This man wants someone who's um, stable, solid. Like knows what she wants. Because this person knows exactly what the hell they don't. They want. They done been through this transformation. And, and yes, this is someone that's on this twin flame journey. This journey right here. This man, he went on this journey by his damn self. It's like he cut everybody out. Went on this journey by himself. And this is what they think about. Being with they, they queen of pentacles. They wife. Just chilling. Enjoying the lap of luxury. I mean, lost in one another. Damn, bro. Because this person, when they came out of their journey, out of their spiritual awakening... They said, I'm only attracted to those who serve my higher good. This is an emperor who's living through their higher self. Okay, because they had to go through some shit. With them fives, this person went, he, they went down through there. Okay, um, maybe before they had relationships that just, maybe this person was in a relationship that put them on a spiritual awakening. Okay, but now, like they said, they know who they are and they know what they want. And this is what they want. They want... My phone going dead. Damn. Let me hurry up, y'all. This is what they want. Queen of Pentacles. Happy life, happy wife. Some of you guys may be blending families. There's a couple on there. They're two different colors, okay? Um, two different color children. So you, you guys may be, like I said, blending families or dating outside of your race. Whatever it is, it's real. And this person is, they looking for their solid balanced relationship i'm talking about whatever this person whatever you give they're gonna it's gonna be balanced reciprocity equal okay with this love offer what else we get on right quick before my phone dies look this came out in reverse they put what look this is this is that spiritual awakening they went through they dropping that damn burden this person went through some shit with the fives the tens, the ending of a cycle. It's like, no, 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 no. I, I'm getting that this person did some, some dirt back then, okay? And they paid for it. They sure the fuck did. They paid for whatever it was that they done. They paid for their karma while they were on their transformation. But now, this person is free. Some of you guys, this person just got a divorce. I just heard that. Some of you, this person just got a divorce from someone who kept them stuck and stagnant. That person actually pushed them onto this spiritual path, their awakening, okay? That person done something to this person, okay? Caused them a lot of burden and, and put this person on their path. They had to go through some changes with this other person, okay? Be, being dissatisfied with that connection. But that connection was for this person's higher good because it created an emperor, Someone who know what they want. You feel me? Because like I said, or like they said, they're only attracted to those who serve their higher good. But yeah, it was because this person went through another connection that wasn't no fucking good. And now they're ready to bring love and reciprocity. That's what they want. They looking for their ten of cups and their wife. Right? Because like I said, this is someone who's thinking about their stability, their future, the commitment. Anything else, spirit? Anything else before we go? <coughs> this in this cycle is in reverse. Let me see why. Baby. So for some of y'all, baby, 
But some of y'all, y'all, this is someone y'all know already. Yeah. This is someone y'all know already. And it's like they don't want it to be over with you guys. So you guys could have dated. They could have left and got with somebody else. And that person took them down through there. Put them through all kind of shit. And then this part, while being with that person, they had to, they went through their spiritual awakening. This person did a lot of fucked up shit to them. Okay. And so now they're ready to come back because you are this person's ten of cups. They don't want this cycle to be over with you. They ready to be victorious with you. Damn. Yeah. So for some of y'all, this is someone you are, this emperor is your divine masculine, but it was like they left the connection to go and be with someone else who put them on a spiritual path, who put their ass on an awakening because they did so much dirty shit to them. It's almost like like I said, on this journey, this person got their judgment, their karma. Okay, they went through a lot. But now they're free to be them. And they know who they are and what they want. Anything else? <clears throat> this person could have had to... There could have been a family involved. Okay, like I said, so this person could have been married to that person. But there was a lot of arguing, fussing, fighting. This person put put this emperor through a lot of shit. They did. And with these fives, it caused this person to change. This was destined to happen for this, this person to go through their awakening. Okay, so that they can come back with this emperor energy thinking of their future. Right? Coming back for you, they, they, they queen of pentacles their ultimate happiness ready to give you balanced love because prior it wasn't balanced it really wasn't but it will be now because they are only attracted to those who serve their higher good you're dealing with someone who is now living through your, through their higher self because of this awakening that they went through with this past person okay all right boo that is what i get for you guys i hope one of these stories resonate with you if you guys like these pick a cards, like I said, go check out our girl um, in Plain Sight Tarot. Because that's where I saw the pick a card. And I'm like, I wonder if, uh, if I could do a pick a card. Okay? So, if you like the pick a cards, let me know. If not, we'll go back to the, uh, the original. Just wanted to try something different. Okay? It's your girl, Spiritual Sag. I love you guys to death. Y'all know that. Oh, let me tell y'all right, just right, right fast. I got a membership, okay? Um, there's three levels to the membership. Just let me explain. The first level, um, level one, is called the Queen of Wands. That is when we chat live, you'll get a badge put by your name, and you'll get spiritual sad shout outs. You know, because I know when I watch other channels and I put my badge up there or a super chat, whatever, it feels good to hear that creator call my name out. Or read my comment out loud but the second and third level are like the most important ones excuse me the second level is called the gifted souls membership and that is where i will go live once a month and allow for you guys and it's for members only you guys can come in and get individual q a we'll do individual q a about your spiritual business okay that one is called gifted souls so whatever questions you have about your spiritual business you can ask my spirit guides and you can get answers over there okay and then level three is my divine feminine and once a month we're gonna go live over there and for me i really think that level three is like the best out of all because if you get level three, and what, like I said, what we do on level three is we'll go live and you guys individually can ask me questions about your own personal twin flame journey. Okay, it's kind of like getting a live reading. And it's cheaper because you're going to get level one and two membership perks and get your own personal information on your twin flame. Because if you come and get a personal reading, it's twice as much. But if you get the membership, you get all three of those perks and, you know, for a low price. You feel me? So, you don't have to join. I'm still here. I'm still going to do what the hell I do. Y'all know. But I just wanted to let you guys know that that will be up just in case you guys are interested. Because, like I said, when I, when I watch other channels um, and they have those memberships and I, like, make a comment and it that emojis by my name and they call my name out you know it make you feel special 
So I was like, we're gonna, what can I do? Like, cause y'all, y'all say y'all like when I say baby. So I was thinking like every time someone super chat or something like that, I don't know, maybe we'll say that. I don't know y'all. Y'all help me out. This is our channel. I tell y'all that all the time. So yeah, those are the three levels. You'll have Queen of Wands is the the uh, first level. Gifted Souls is the second level. And um, Divine Feminine is the third level on the membership package. So just go check it out. Watch the little video. Click on them and see what all you get with the perks. And see which one works best for you. I would definitely appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. But like I said, nothing will change. If you buy it or, you know, if you don't buy it, nothing's going to change, okay? I would still love you guys. I do. Because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even, it, there would be no spiritual sage. You feel me? Me and my spirit guys would just be sitting here playing with the cards. So, I love you guys. Until next time, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Mwah.